All right. Hello, everyone. It is Friday. It's the weekend. Um, and we are here with Creativity for Kids and Michael Stores. And we're going to have an hour of playing with this magical kit. It's called the Woodland Forest. My name is Lay Ralston. I'm also known as Mommy Lay on the internet. And I'm super excited to play along with all of you. We're going to unbox the kit that I have in front of me. And let's look at this one. This is the Plant and Grow Woodland Forest. And we're going to unbox it and we're going to set it up. And if you are playing along with me today, I hope that you're excited because I know I am super excited because I love toys and I love playing. Here, we're going to unbox it. We have our chia seeds and we're going to go through all everything that's inside this kit. So we're going to go through one by one and then we're also going to set it up and we're going to create our magical woodland forest and we're going to plant. We're going to name our little gnome in here and the snail friend that we have. Oh, look at this, all of the goodies. All right, I'm gonna put away the box for now. So this will be our pot. And this is where we're gonna set up everything. Do you like the crinkling of the plastic? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I can't decide. So look at this. I actually had the opportunity to set one up last Sunday because I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but we're going to set one up together. So here we have the cute little snail and you do know that we're gonna have to name our snail, right? Because, because. So we have two mushrooms, one little orange one. Look at this cute one. I'm gonna zoom it in so we can see clearly what's inside this kit. Right, so we have an orange mushroom. We have our little yellow mushroom, so cute, this one. And then we have that little snail, hello friend. See, <laughs> hello snail friend, so cute. Okay, we'll set both of those aside and this is where we're going to plant. And then we have some sand, an orange, and also a blue. And if you're going to be playing along with me, and if you need to open a few plastic, we have some easy resealable open and resealable um, Ziplocs in here. But if you're going to need to use some scissor, make sure to ask some help from an adult, a grown up. This one, this is our white stone. Also, in the back of the box, you're going to see all everything that's included in the kit. But this one is our potting mix. This is like a magical clay mix where we're going to grow our chia seeds. This is the seed. And in this package right here, we have an eyedropper here. And then this white stickers right here is what we're going to use to decorate the top of the mushroom. So cute, right? Then we have some clear stickers because we're gonna decorate this one. We're going to create a scene later. Ah, it's gonna be so fun. So I'll set that aside. And then of course you have everything in here, some great instructions to follow along. So it will teach you how to layer, how you can plant, how you can decorate and then water. But of course, this is what we're gonna do today. So. Are you excited? I'm excited. Playtime is always exciting and always so fun. So I'll set those aside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with, oh, no, no, we almost forgot little Nomi. Sorry, little Nomi. And I think I'm gonna need a scissor for this one. Of course, when I need a scissor, I cannot find one. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be very, very careful because my scissor is sharp. And we don't want to hurt our gnome friend over here. Hey. Oh, it's so cute. It's holding a little tiny bird. Can you guys see it? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that it's holding a bird. It is so cute. 
Okay. All right. You will sit there first, and then I'll set everything, all the plastic. Make sure that we're going to throw that and clean it later. Um, also, what I'm working on is if you're going to work on and maybe make a little bit of a mess, you know, I am a mom, so I understand mess. Um, so I have a silicone um, mat in here. If you don't have it, um, maybe some old newspaper. Do you know what a newspaper is? We probably don't know what a newspaper is anymore. <laughs> some magazine or something like that. But make sure to have a paper towel and handy. I have some baby wipes as well, so we can wipe our hands. Um, and then we're also gonna need a bowl of water. So I have a bowl of water in here, and this is our eyedropper tool that we're gonna use to get some water. First things first, we're going to set up our clay mix or our potting mix. I'm gonna use the scissor, do it like this. All right, and we're going to make this one little wet. So I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and get some water. You know, I don't have, I don't have some spoon. That's what I should have in here. I knew I was forgetting something. This is what happens when you get a bit older. And I think it's going to take me forever to get this one really wet. So carefully, carefully, I'm going to get a little bit of water and drop it here. And of course, it's not careful. Look at all my mess. Ah! I have all the water. Oh, no. I am a mess. All right. And we're going to just slowly mix it until it becomes this clay consistency. And this is why it's important to have paper towels. I'm gonna clean up my mess a little bit. There we go. And now I can proceed and add more water in this mix. How much water are you gonna put in? Depends. So you're gonna see if you have a little bit more dry. So we want this to be really clay consistency, right? So I definitely need a little bit more water. So this time I'll try to be careful. So if this is a little bit hard for you, you can ask help for mom to do this part. So here, oh, it's, we're getting there. I'll add a little bit more, yay. And then you just kind of like slowly mix it, mix it. This part right here is really, really clay already, but I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I hope I'll have enough water to water my seeds later. Ooh, it's like playing with um, like clay, but a little messy one. Mm. This even part right here is like already a play. I can feel that this one has a lot of water and all that. So I think this one's set up to that. All right, now I'm going to clean this area right here, and we're going to start setting up our woodland forest like this first. All right. This is just so cute and so adorable. You have a mushroom cap. So our first layer is we're going to use the potty clay, and we're going to first Add it here. If you have a spoon that you can use, you might want to use that. But I'm just going to do this and slowly add. Don't use all of it yet because we're going to need some of that potty clay mix later. All right. So just a little bit like that. And I think I added too much water, to be honest with you. Look at that. Add a little bit more. I think I'll have enough for our seeds later. Ooh, this is like messy. My daughter is here. She's going to really enjoy it because she likes to make um, and play with anything sensory where you can touch and play and make some mess. She loves, loves, loves that part. Okay. Now we're going to add our stones. 
This is the white stones. Again, I'm gonna need some scissor. Set this one. Oop. Okay, I'll put that on the side. This one's two are going to require some scissors. Now, I feel like this one, if this happens to you, because accidents can happen, I feel like if I will use a little bit of paper towel to get some moisture, because things happen and sometimes they are not perfect, I'm going to get a big paper towel like here. I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to get the paper towel to really seep through the moisture, the extra moisture that I may not like because we're going to need that. And I'm really making a mess now for sure. Look at that. But it's taking out all that excess water that I don't need. So I'm going to set that on the side. I'll fold it again, like this in half. See, so it's not super messy because it's sticky. And so it's like staying in there. I'm gonna grab my paper towel again. And I can see where it's like really getting all that water. Look at this. Getting all that extra moisture there. Because I know if you're playing and then you're not super overly careful, sometimes you use a little bit too much water. And even look at me, I am a grown up. And sometimes you're like, oops, that was a little bit too much. So right now, I feel like this is really perfect. More like a sticky consistency because we got those extra water out. Look at that. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw it in the trash can. All my mess. Right now, we're gonna get our stone. Not yet. That was the last. We're gonna do our sand first. Now for the sand, if you look at the box, there's like some examples in there where you can use the orange first or you can do the blue first. But honestly, whichever you wanna do, you can do half and half, you can combine them. This is where you really need to use your imagination. It's kind of like, okay, maybe I want them combined and blended together. How about you try that? But really just use your imagination and have lots and lots of fun. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna slowly look at that because I have too much water. So I'm just gonna spread it. While I am dropping the sand, I am slowly just moving my container as well or the base of the mushroom like this. So slowly adding everything in. I was like, this is so fun. I'm like being careful. See how I'm just twisting things around? You want to make sure that you get into that side or in that corners on that. So if you need to tilt just a little bit, little bit, or you have tiny hands, and I'm pretty sure you can put your hands in there. I have little tiny hands too, actually. So I'm just getting in there, making sure I can go on the sides like that because my mixture is on the really wet side. That's why it's helping for the sand to stick in my potty mix. That's probably a happy accident, isn't it? Sometimes happy accident happens like that. There you go, I'll put in. So should I put like half on the side and then half blue? I think I'll do layers. I'll do layer of the orange and then I'll do add our blue. So I'm gonna slowly tilting, just lightly, don't do it like this, just a little bit, just kind of like tilt just a little bit like that. And then put in your orange sand. So I wanna make sure I'm getting in those corners as well, just like that. And when I feel like I've covered most part, on the sides. Now I can go concentrate on the middle section like that. Just like that. I want to feel the sand too. Look, ooh, you can do that too if you'd like. You can play the sand, play with the sand and feel it. This is super fun. Oop. Here. All that. And we can do this. 
So I'm going to use all of these orange sand, and then I'm going to use the blue one to get a put in all that. Make sure I have some on the sides too, like that. So we want to make sure we distribute the sand on equal sides, corners. There you go. I'm going to go a little bit faster and I'll play around with the sand again. As long as you clean your hands later, that's the most important part. One side, like this. There we go. I used all my orange sands. No more. Okay. That on the side, that's trash. And if you feel like you have a little bit more mess than you would like. So each time I like to kind of clean around my area. So because I know I'm going to make more mess. So it's much easier to clean up after. So, all right. Now we're going to do the color blue sand. And I've already cut through that. And I'll do the same thing again. So I'll go on the sides first, just lightly. Look at this. I'm not really tilting. Oops, because you're going to have your sand move over to one side. And if you don't want that, you just slowly and like gently tilt it so you can go in the corners or on that side area of your pot. Like this <laughs> plastic pot, I should say. And then add it first, like that, see? So I'm gonna do the sides first. And then like what we did earlier, we'll do the middle part next. So we'll go on the sides first. And there's like something so magical, like watching the sand pour. Look at that. You can keep um, the middle part orange if you'd like. But like what I said, I think for this one, I really like it balanced and layered. And if you look at the sides, you see in this camera, the small one, you can see the, the layer of the orange and then the blue now. So we're gonna do concentrate on the middle part. Move all that. That. And I'll add more on the sides. Again, just gently, slowly. Pouring my sand. Here we go. Like this. And I'll go on this side. Sometimes I try to look at it like this. I lift it up carefully with both my hands like this. So I can really see the layers going on over here. So if I feel like I have to add a little bit more layer on that side, then I will concentrate on there. So here like that, there. And then I'm gonna play with the sand just a little bit, add it to my fingers and I'll like, whee! Over inside, I'll do this. Add a bit more here, here, like that. There we go. By sand, no more. Okay. All right. This time, I feel like my pot is a little bit messy. I have some sands on the side, like this because for sure we want this clear, right? So we can clean this up later after we put everything in here. But now we're going to move on to the next part. So we have our stone. Um, what we wanna do is we want to really equally distribute the stone and we're gonna put the potty mix again on the backside because we're going to set up this magical scene with our little Nomi here. Say hi, say hi to them, Nomi. Hi. So we're gonna set him on this front side and we're going to 
set up the mushrooms and our little snail friend. It's going to go there. Two mushrooms in here. And we're going to use the stickers. And we're going to use our imagination to kind of spread around and decorate our mushroom. So I am going to get all the stones and I will put it in half part. So I'm going to put it in the front and on the back again, we're going to put in our potty mix or our clay here, right? So think half and half. And I know that I'm going to put this in this front side. So I'm going to gently again, tilt it and look at where my finger is here underneath this. Maybe you want to hold it just like that. So you have a balance. There you go. And then you know that it's just slow, it's just gently, very gently tilted on the side like that, right? And then I'm gonna use my tiny little hands to distribute my stones in the front. And if you would like, you can use your finger instead, your hands, but some like this, just like that, look, ding, ding. And then go on the front side and really concentrate on the front part of our mushroom or our pot, All right? So this time I feel like that's gonna take me forever and it's a little harder because my hands are slightly bigger than yours. So I'm just gonna use the plastic in distribute my stones. These are like little magical white stones. As long as you remember to leave a space on the back for our potty mix, because that's where we're going to plant our chia seeds. So we're gonna have these magical seed seeds. And they're gonna grow. And I will show you mine later because I was watching it every day and see how much it's sprouting and it's growing. And it's really something fun of like the waiting. It's teaching me patience because when you plant the seed, you cannot see the, it's sprouting right away, you know? So there's patience involved in there. And there's just something special about something that you planted and then it's growing. I wasn't sure if I will grow the seeds, but magically it did. And so I was super happy. <laughs> Not everyone is talented in growing. It's called the uh, green thumb. So some people are really like very blessed to have some green thumb because they can grow like beautiful flowers and plants and, you know, a garden. And um, I will be honest with you, I'm really... I don't think I've ever planted anything since I was young. And so this was so fun for me getting to play again. And I feel like I'm, I was a little girl again, planting something and then creating my own magical scene. That's like a super, super bonus. And I have like extra sand on the side, little potty mix. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm trying to clean it up and I'm not doing a great job. Come on, because I cannot reach it there. I think I did. Now we're going to make it like part of the charm or we can cover it up with stickers. That's what our stickers are for because we have our stickers and know that we can decorate that with, with some stickers later. I want you to show, show this one where I set it up or have everything, all the stickers. So that's what we're going to do later. All right, so we have the stones. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the rest of our clay or a potting mix right here. I really did a great job pouring water in this one, didn't I? <laughs> now, because I don't have some spoon, if you have any plastic spoon in there that you can use, you want to use it so you can carefully distribute your potting clay on the backside of our pot. But if you don't have it, the key to that is see your wrapper here. I want you to fold it just a little bit so you can only expose just a little part of your open plastic like this one. So this will, so hold it here while we're going to squeeze it on the back side. And then we can also get messy and use our fingers later to really fix it. 
because this one is really, really wet. I'm gonna squeeze, squeeze it in the back. So I think it'll be much better if you can use a plastic spoon. Ask mom if you have some, any plastic spoon that you can use like that. See all those clay? We need all the clay because that's where we're gonna put in our seeds. So I'm just gonna squeeze them where it gets in the front of the plastic and I'll squeeze, 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 squeeze. Making sure everything stays on the back. And I'm gonna use my finger and get little messy so I can push things on the side, just like that. And then my pot is really getting super messy now with all the clay. But, ooh, that's fun. Look at that it's sticky. It's not really sticky, it's just very clay consistency. Whoops, 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 whoops. And remember, there's no wrong or right in here. So even if you have covered a little bit of that stone that we put in earlier, that's okay. You can just fix it. Use your fingers, get a little messy in there, and then we can wipe it with the baby wipes later. So I'm just going to use my finger, make sure all my potty mix over there on the back also, and all that. You can also use the back of the dropper to make sure you do that if you don't have any spoon like me. See, just doing that. Make sure it's there. <gasps> Look. Everything is in the middle. And this is where we're going to put our Nomi. So I'm just going to distribute that, make sure that's there. And I'll have a little bit more because I have some extra. Make sure I can use that. It has this gold flakes also. It looks so pretty. So, all right. Put it in the back. I'm sure mom is going to have lots of fun with all the mess that we're creating today. Wee! All right. I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Here we go. <laughs> Make sure everything is in there. I'll use the back of my eyedropper tool again. So we can just pack it in there, pack it in there, pack it in there, like that. Now, before we decorate, we need to clean up. This is the fun part, cleaning up. So I'm gonna get my paper towel. I also have a baby wipes so I can clean my fingers. Don't put anything in your mouth. So make sure you wash your hands first, clean up. So I'll put that on the side and we're gonna go also clean our pot, a mushroom pot, and also clean this part first. So this is the fun part. I'm gonna clean up our mess using the baby wipes, Just cleaning. I feel like I'm in the beach with all these sand, but I'm in the woodland forest. So, sorry, Nomi, my Nomi fell. All right, it's clean. I'm gonna clean this one. And you know what I can actually do? I can wrap my fingers with the baby wipes like this. My pointer finger, like that, wrap it around. And I'm gonna use this finger to clean our pot. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it. I'm not gonna tilt it so much so I don't ruin our clay mix and our stones in there. But I'm gonna clean as much as possible. See, I'm just kind of moving with my left hand, I'm just moving and then letting it clean. So I have all that mess in there. And then I'll change it up a little bit, go on the clean side or cleaner side, I should say. And then clean it again, just like that. Like that. It's 
So if you cleaned it to a point where you are happy and you can stop there and then we can start decorating. I'm just gonna try and clean up so I can see my gnome friend when I put it in the front. All right, and then I'll use the baby wipes again to clean more. There you go. Like nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> not really but <laughs> all right now that we have it we should name our gnome friend what are we gonna name our gnome friend um hmm. i can't think of a name right now how about fred <laughs> i'm gonna name it fred okay fred you're there where is the snail how about the snail we should name him the snail fred and Julia. The snail is Julia and Fred and that gnome is Fred. So, all right. And then we have our little tiny mushrooms. So you can see it has this little straw. So you can stick it where you would like it. So if you want them both sides, if you want them together, um, I don't know. What do you think you're going to do? Let me see. Hold on. Let's make this one slightly bigger and I'll zoom this one so we can really see what's going on. Right. So you can, as long as you put everything, this is where we're going to put Fred right in the front where the stone is. Now I'm going to decide where I want to put in my mushrooms. I think I want to put mushrooms on both sides. So see, I just kind of and then I'm going to press on it. So right there. Okay, the next one, I think I'm going to put on this side. So again, stick it just a little bit in from the top. Like that. There. Those are not going to move. All right. Are we ready to put Fred and Julia in the front? I think so. But before we put them, let us plant our seeds. Here's our chia seeds. Look at this tiny little seeds in there. Magically, these will grow um, within three to five days. But I planted mine um, Sunday afternoon. And so now today is Friday. It took five days and I will show you the progress of my seeds. Now I have two. Oh, so you can grab some seeds in here, even like that touch them like that it feels like grains these are magical seeds and so I say please grow please grow please grow while we're putting them I think that's what I said when I put them so I'm gonna go here I said please grow seeds so we're gonna sprinkle it where that potting mix is make sure you go on sides also like that so it is recommended to not put in too much because you want them to be able to grow and have some space to grow. So I think, I think that's good enough. Huh? Maybe I'll sprinkle just a tiny, tiny bit more, but look how much seeds you have in here, see? So just a little bit, I'm just gonna grab just a little bit more seeds like that. And I'll make sure I have really distribute that all over the place on the sides in the middle on the back side and all that and we know that our potting mix is really really wet but just in case yours wasn't as wet as mine um you want to use your eyedropper tool and grab more pick up more water so all you got to do is squeeze this top part right here so squeeze it it's gonna get some water in there and don't put any pressure because once you squeeze it, you're going to release the water. And when you're ready to release the water, that's the only time you wanna really press on that top part and gently say, please grow seeds, please grow. Thank you. Thank you so much there. All right, I think that is good enough. So I'll set that on the side. 
Now we're going to put Fred and Julia. Oh, hello, Fred. Now, Fred and Julia, they don't have those little sticky things, right? So once we put Fred and Julia in here, our gnome friend, we want to make sure we be gentle with moving this pot around. So there. And the stones help, see, to put Fred in place. Let me zoom in so you can really see here. Here. Like that. And then I'm going to put Julia right on the left part, I think. Ah. You're lucky because you have little tiny hands. I have, no, <laughs> Julia, what is happening? <laughs> I'm gonna get my eyedropper tool so it can help me get Julia because it's she's leaning towards the front. All right, okay, I think it's good. There we go, there we have Julia. I'm going to go on this camera so you can see it. Can you see them? <laughs> and because if you cannot see um, your gnome friends, you might want to clean it up. Maybe it's not clean enough. So there we have them. Hi. So cute. Okay. All right. So we have it. Now it's time to decorate the top of your mushroom. So remember those white stickers? these white stickers. I'm going to put that Fred and Julia first on the side like that. And I'm going to use these stickers to decorate our mushroom top. So you want to spread these around, but you know what? It is up to you. If you want them all on one side, that's okay too. Like what I said, no wrong or right, but use your imagination. So because you're the one that's putting character in this mushroom, oops, I guess my camera is too big and you won't be able to see me. Let's zoom it out just a little bit. Here we go. All right. So there. So you're the one that's going to put character in the mushroom. I'll put there on the side. So I'm going to add like a big piece in here and I'll have like a medium size. Find a medium one like this. And I'll think I will do them by threes. And then I'll have a much smaller than the rest of the two. And then I'll stick it right there, right? If your mushroom top is a little dirty, just clean it up just a little bit so you can really seal the sticker in there. Like that, make sure that it's clean. Like this, right? And then I'll add more over here. So you can spread them around again, a medium size. And I'll find a much smaller piece, put it over there. And then over here, use this one big one right there. Like that. And apply two. And then another one right here. So cute. Now I have two extra ones. You can choose to just add it in one or spread it on one side. We'll just put it here. Just like that. I think I'll stick it to this one. So you have your mushroom top. And this is what's going to help to keep the moisture inside your pot. Okay, so you're going to need to cover it up. After you water, let's say tomorrow you're going to water um, Fred and Julia, your seeds over here. You want to make sure you put your top back in because this is the one that's going to keep the moisture, lock in the moisture in there. Okay, All right. So now we're going to use our stickers to decorate and create a woodland theme because we have on this we have more gnome friends. And then we have like, let's look at the stickers. I love stickers. I love stickers so much here. So we have some flowers, we have some leaves, we have more mushrooms. And I mean, look at this adorable bee. He's so cute. And then you have a lantern, and you have doors, you have windows. Look at this cute porcupine holding a mail. Happy mail. 
All right. And then it says gnome, sweet gnome. Okay. This, you're going to help me out with this one because we're going to decorate and create the scene. Where should we put the door? Should we put it on the side? Should we put it on the back? I think with the last one that I created, I designed it where the back of See, this is where my gnomes are. So my window or my door is on the side. Look at this one, it's over here. And so I have the windows on top side. I have my little porcupine. So with everything else, there's really no wrong or no right. But I want you to have as much fun as you can because I love sticking stickers. And this is your chance to stick six stickers in your toy. Because I remember when I was young, I'm like, I don't really want to use my stickers because once I stick them, they're gone. But we need the stickers to decorate this woodland theme, right? So I am going to put in the mailbox. So I'm going to use the mailbox. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to use this mailbox and put it on the side and I'm going to use the sand as my kind of like I know where I'm going to stop and I'm going to know where I'm going to end so I'll use the stone in that sand as my guide to where to put my stickers it's kind of like serving as a border also so I have my mailbox in there. And of course, this little cute, tiny porcupine, I think I wanna keep seeing him. So I'm gonna put it on the side. So I'll put it over here like this. Like that. It's like looking at say, here we go, happy mail. Sorry, my camera keeps moving there. Happy mail. See, it's so cute. And then I'm gonna cute, I'm gonna put in this cute gnome. Look at this one, this is super cute. I think I'll put it on this side, like here. Again, where the stone is and where the sand, that's where my guide is. So there you go, and I'll stay in there. And then I will, do the door next. See, this is our door. Where do we put our door? Maybe if I put it in front, we're gonna cover everything up. So we wanna stay, keep this clean so we can really see our friends in there on that side. So I think I'm gonna put the door exactly behind Fred. And I'm kind of using again, that sand as my guide like that here. Stick it right there. Okay. And then we have two windows. So I am going to keep the door in the center and I'll put my windows on both sides, each side, my right side. And I'm going to put one on the left side of the door. So we'll keep the door in the middle. Put it right over here like that. All right. And I'm going to use this kind of like a pathway, walkway, and I'll put it here, just below my door, just like that. It's kind of like crooked a little bit. It's hard to put, look in the camera and then do my stickers too. <laughs> there. Make sure you be careful when you're moving around your pot so you don't, so Julia in there is just calm, chill, they're having fun. All right. And then I have another gnome in here. This is another gnome friend. I think I'm going to put it here on this side, like this over here. La la la. It's playing its guitar. See? It's <laughs> so cute. All right. Now we're going to have an extra snail friend. So I'll put this one beside our. Gnome, guitar playing gnome, there, like that. So cute, All right? And then our little bee, I think I'll put in the little bee 
by the porcupine over here where Fred is. It's kind of like, just like this. Like that. See where the mailbox is? That's where I'm going to put our friend, like that. And then our mushroom, we have more stickers. More stickers! I love stickers. So I'm going to put in the mushroom beside this little gnome with the braids. I think I put it on this side, though. All right, on its left side. Change my mind. And sometimes you feel like you made a choice already, and then last minute you want to change your mind. Does that happen to you? Because it happens to me a lot of times, All right? More, more, more stickers. Yes, thank you so much. I love stickers. I'm going to use this one lantern over here and put it beside our gnome friend. So, ah, like this. Like that. We're almost done. Then we have some flowers. And then, of course, we have the gnome sweet gnome. Look at this. It's this gnome sweet gnome. Where are we going to put the gnome sweet gnome? Maybe on top of the door. Yeah, that's a good idea. Top of the door. Like here, over here. Let's put it right over here. All right. That's a good choice, Lay. There. Let me know where you put yours. I'm so excited. I'm going to show this to Rain here. And then we have our bunny friend. It's this one. That's kind of like waiting for the gnomes to come home. It's over there on the side. It's like, where are you guys? Knock, knock. All right. And then now it's time to decorate with some flowers. Oh, we have our ladybug too. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So cute. I think we have some extra vines and leaves in here. I think I'm going to use this to decorate my door. Yeah. Use this one. I'll put it right over here. I'm going to decorate this side like that. This. That turned out super cute. Okay. And then we have this little cute flower. I'm going to put this behind, beside my snail friend. Just like that, this. It's very sticky. So what you wanna do when you're not quite certain yet, you always put like this on your finger and see it first, don't stick it right away. So it's kind of like placing it all over and see where you really want it to be, where you want it to be like that. So I feel like my flower I want to put it right over here. And all the colors in the stickers, it match. So it's very, um, it matches everything. You have orange here, we have orange, we have green, and it matches the sand also that we use. It just looks so perfect. It looks like a magical scene from a book. Right, then there are little tiny ladybug. So let's put it right over here where the bunny is. Just like that, right? And then once I made my final decision, I'll make sure that it's sealed and really stuck in there. Now we have two more left. <gasps> ah, no, last sticker left. Where are we going to put? I have one little bit one here, and then I have this one. Since I have this purple flower over here by the mailbox, I think I'm going to stick my sticker right here. Why not? There. Now, really, last one. Where are we going to put this one? Hmm. Decision, decision, decision. I cannot make a choice. I feel like I don't really want to cover Julia. If I put it right over here, I'm going to cover Julia and Fred right there. So I'm going to put it here. Right here. We have almost all the flowers in here. We look like we have our very own garden in there as well. So look, how cute and adorable is this gnome, sweet gnome. There's the door. There's our little bunny. There's our little ladybug and flower and snail and another gnome friend, our mailbox, little cute bee, the porcupine, and then there inside are both Fred and Julia. Those are my friends. And then we have, again, remember, we want to keep 
all the moisture inside. So we want to cover it up like this. Just like that. And before I say bye bye to everyone, I want to show you what it's going to look like. But I want you to get excited because every day you want to check your new friends in there. If there's like little tiny buds. I'm going to put it on this side first. And we'll open this one, the one that I set up last Sunday. All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Can you see the little tiny green inside? Because I can see it. It's so cute already. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. I'll make this one a little bit smaller. All right. Let's open it up. And da -da. there, there's my friends. So they grew, they grew, they grew. Look how much they have grown. Can you imagine from those little tiny seeds? Now those chia seeds, they're like little sprouts and they're gonna open up a little bit more. So tomorrow I'm super excited to actually see what it's gonna look like. Because like what I said, every day, every day, I kind of um, really watch and how much they've grown already. So since Friday that I have set this up and put it together, the next day I wanted to see what's like sprouting. And it's like, oh, nothing is happening the first day. Second day, I kind of like, water it again, add a little bit more, more moisture. Um, and then I check it. It's like a little bit is happening. There's like little changes in there, you know, then the third day I can really see where there's like white little sprouts that I can see. And then now what is today? It's Friday and this is what it looks like. And so tomorrow I can't wait to see again, if it's going to give us some leaves because this is what's going to happen. Like this, see those little tiny greens in there? Um, that is what it's going to look like. But right now, mine is still not opening up, but it's going to open up and it's going to look like that, that one in the picture. So, all right. I hope you guys had fun with me. I had so much fun, so much fun creating the mess and then cleaning it up. That's the most important part. And then also using my imagination to really put together and create a scene in here with my Nomi friends. Again, this is called the Woodland Forest Plant and Grow Kit from Creativity for Kids. I hope that you enjoyed setting it up with me. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next class, stay creative and stay happy.